Hey guys, wow, what a year it has been. Looking back on everything that I've done, all the changes in my life and everything that I have achieved in a span of less than a year since transitioning into a new management and a new career direction. I have grown so much and I wanted to take the time and sit down and talk with you guys and kind of fill you in on everything that has been going on because I know that I'm not the best at social media and I'm, I've am i always been very hesitant to talk about anything, um, anything, I've always been scared to talk about very personal things and after the pandemic even became scared of talking about my career and and explaining myself um so i want to go into talking a little bit more about the pose soon those photos actually came from a self-produced fun photo shoot that i did with the one and only shira luna and this is a one of my favorite photos one of my favorite layouts out of eight layouts that we did. As we were shooting, we kind of got inspired by one of my favorite up and coming directors slash authors, um, Sarah Baba. We just played around with the concept of being jealous of flowers. And um, so to kind of dive deeper into the meaning behind um, my poem, it was me expressing my hopes and dreams and frustrations. I'm 25 years old now and I think people forget that I've been working for 13 years now since I was 12 years old and I've been in six feature films over 500 episodes of teleseries and have only really dabbled into three main genres romance comedy and drama and since I was 16 I had only really worked side by side with one main co-star with the same production company rotating around the same three directors and during all those years I was never really asked for my input my thoughts my ideas I felt like I was being told to be just a flower for so long and I finally started to explore a world of being able to create and tell my story and hopefully others. I'll get more into it later but I'm slowly starting to dip my toes into the world of writing and producing and it's such an exhilarating feeling that I've never felt before. Next, for me as an ambassador. So mainly what I've been doing while I've been here for the past few weeks um, in the Philippines is strengthening my relationships with the brands that I work with and I have recently started cutting down on all the endorsements that I had. I was known to be one of the artists who had like so many different endorsements and um, now that I'm older I want to be more intentional about the brands that I associate myself with and I want to make sure that the products that I preach for are actually products that I believe in, companies that I believe in, brands that I believe in, and actually use. And so I'm really excited to announce that I just started working with a new brand and it has been the most amazing experience ever. I had the opportunity to work side by side with the client the executives, the marketing officer, and with the director of the commercial campaigns. And so I was part of the pre-production meetings, I was part of the storyboarding, I was part of the writing of the script. And so I wanted to share with you guys that I'll be launching this partnership with this brand on Monday, February 27. So please stay tuned. I'm so excited for you guys to see the commercial. This was my first ever um, jab at directing and I am just so excited to see everyone's reaction to it. <laughs> it's 
nothing like I've ever done before. Um, that's for sure. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will be shocked and will be surprised. But I had the best time working on it and working with this team. So I hope you guys will show it some love. Thank you. So, yeah, that actually concludes this video. I'm, I'm so grateful for all of you guys for sticking around to the very end to hear my explanations. And I hope that I was able to give some clarity to all of you. And I also just wanted to take the time to say that I'm truly so grateful for everything that I have, everything that I've experienced in life, professionally and personally, and everything else that came with it. I'm so grateful for my supporters. I'm so grateful for the brands that I get to work with. I'm so thankful for the places that I've been able to go to, the things that I've been able to experience, and being able to take care of my family and live a comfortable life. I know I've been getting some backlash and I obviously know that it would be much easier to just stick to what has been working for me, to stay forever the same. And I know and I understand that it's unfair to all the Liza Soberano fans, all the Liz Ken fans, but I hope you understand that by doing so, by giving in to the pressure of doing what everybody else wants for me, I am being unfair to myself, Hope Soberano. I've sacrificed my childhood, I've sacrificed my freedom, and I've sacrificed my happiness to present Liza Soberano to the world, and I think that I've earned the right to finally be me, to finally be able to do things for me as Hope Soberano. I've embarked on a fresh new chapter and I'm finally taking control of my life, pursuing dreams that I've always had to hold off on. And it's exciting, it's terrifying, it's anxiety filled and confusing. But what I know for sure is that for the first time, I'm finally living my life for me. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Somewhere in between, I took a break and went to Palawan with family and friends. The scenes were breathtaking and Palawan became my favorite island in the whole world with some of the most beautiful corals and sea life. El Nido definitely left its mark on me, literally. I got into a motorcycle accident and was left with some pretty gnarly scars. It took me a whole month to recover. Soon after, I started working on myself. I got back to working out with a trainer, did lots of yoga, and made meditating and journaling a habit. <laughs>